What's up guys, this is Dark Magician here and welcome to another KOF video. So guys, as you know, after the latest update, we have received a new fighter which is Jun Hoon. And you know, in addition to that, we also received the Goddess Fight Soul, the fifth Fight Soul called the Goddess. So uh, today's, you know, it, it will be just a short video, I'm just gonna describe what the Goddess Fight Soul is about. So as you can see, at level 1 or at 1 stars, it says that at the beginning of the battle, it decreases all enemy male fighters 8% resistance rate and defense and it lasts all battle. This is really good and you know, it's really needed in every team because it lasts for the whole battle and you know, it's permanent, you know. So uh, it would be good and probably because most teams have a lot of males in them, so it can work well. And you know, at 1 stars, you don't need to, up to even upgrade it, so it can work good. Now, if you keep upgrading it to 2 stars, when releasing skills, if the target is male, 50% chance to reduce to 100 rage. Ah, uh, this is not much like important, except if you give it to, let's say, the fighter that is located at the sixth position, for example, so that you know the, uh, that fighter will reduce rage for sure, and uh, you know pre pretty much the opponent won't be able to regain rage uh, right away. Okay, now if you continue to 3 stars, in the third round a random female fighter gets full rage. This is pretty good actually, especially you know later on and if you know pretty much all females can do some damage for example then this can be good uh, as well. 4 stars, this is actually the peak of this fight, so this is the most important uh, let's say level at this fight soul. So in deployed team, for every female fighter present, of course the number of fighters is counted separately per round. All female fighters will get 5% damage increase and it can reach to, uh, it can reach a maximum of 20%. So if you do have at least, let's say, 4 females, it can reach up to 20%. And you know, this is calculated once every turn. So if more females die, uh, die of course, the, the value will get uh, less. But it's still an increase and it's a damage increase. So if you're running a full female team, for example, this would be really good and really needed. This is like the most important uh, fight soul for female teams to be honest okay and lastly at five stars in round three two random female fighters will get full rage and 20 percent damage and resistance bonus for one round now five stars of course it's really good but at the same time i mean people who got to four stars i think they can you know keep going to five stars but yeah i mean the four stars is the one that i really can focus on because it is well not gonna say game changer but it does add a lot to the team okay now the question is, is it a good fight soul or not? Now generally for, let's say, for any team, if you're running like four souls, if you're running any type of team, even if it doesn't have a lot of females, you can actually make good use of the uh, of this fight soul at one stars. You know, because it kind of depends on the opponent. What does the opponent have? But if you do have, uh, if you are running a female team, for example, or any team with a lot of females in them, then I do recommend you get it to four stars. I know this is pretty much the most expensive fight soul to work on but you know it is efficient it is really efficient to get to four stars if you do have a lot of females in your team so pretty much uh, not gonna say exclusive for female teams but it does work best for female teams now on which fighters do you have to uh, give uh, I'd say you know it doesn't really matter because you do care about the effect itself it doesn't give buff for one fighter it does give buff for uh, let's say uh, for all the team so Pretty much, I would say you can give it to a fighter that can last long in the match because so that you can make good use of it uh, in every turn. Because the um, because this fight soul keeps on going and keeps on resetting, let's say in every turn. So you need to give it to someone that can last long so that you can keep making use get good use of it. Okay, guys. So pretty much, if you do have a like a strong tank that can last long or somebody in the back row who's tanky enough to survive long in the match th those would be like the uh, the best options uh, to give the, uh, the goddess fight soul to okay guys so yeah that was just a pretty much a short video just to describe uh, the goddess soul so let me know are you going for it what do you think uh, to which fighters are you gonna give it and yeah that was it so i'm gonna see you guys in the next video peace out